hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're very much welcome my name is Dolly I am a Dubai based uh, Cameroonian youtuber so you're very very welcome to my channel um, I really hope this headscarf you know it doesn't give up on me you know when we watch some of these videos we actually try I recently watched a um, Lenora T's headscarf video and I was like Dolly I'm going to try how to tie a headscarf today I'm no pro so please don't judge okay Anyways, today we'll be talking about the five things I love about Dubai. Like I said, I am based in Dubai. Um, some time ago, I filmed a video about the five things I hated about Dubai. Yes, of course, no place in the world is perfect. Be it if you, even if you're based in New York, in Paris, in Spain, wherever you're based, I guess there are a few things you wouldn't love about the place. And I guess there are some things that are to die for about that place. So that's what we are going to be talking about Dubai. The first thing I would love to say is, if you ever come to Dubai, make sure you go to a global village. Why do I say this? Dubai, like one thing they've done and done it excellently well is the diversity of cultures, the way they represent uh, like almost all the cultures in the world. If you go to global village, it, you if you walk into because global village i would insert a picture of what it looks like it's like you know all these countries and what all those countries stand for like you know the core things that you would find in that country if you were a tourist imagine me going to global village and i work and i walk into um china trust me you feel like you're in china you walk into global village you um you go for example to um you walk into france again you will see a lot of things that if you're actually in france in some cities in france you would uh, you would find uh like you know the most basic things you would find in those countries now, that's one thing i really really love about dubai the fact that they diversify the cultures it's amazing like that's something that is brilliant the next thing uh, I will talk about is the fact that Dubai is a touristic destination. Yes, when you come here, it depends on your budget. If you want to experience the glitz and the glam of Dubai, you can very much do that. You can, uh, you know, vac you can you can vacation at um, the Burj Al Arab. You can be at the Burj Khalifa. You can do all these expensive things. And as well, you can also, you know, experience the old Dubai. When you go to Creekside, you go, you experience the souk. A souk is a market. So you can go over there, you'll see, you know, like the proper, proper Arabic, Arabic rocks, the spices. Trust me, if you come to Dubai, try your best, you know, to experience, yeah, the fancy stuff, the glitz and the glam, you know, all the fancy restaurants and stuff like that. But as well, get uh, get to know like the old dubai you know what was dubai before all this uh development before all the infrastructure i really really love that honestly you can leave your house depends on your mood if i leave my house today i'm like okay i want to go to you know local market i want to feel like i'm in cameroon i just need to go to the souks to the local to the local markets um, around the creek side you get to enter in the boats i've experienced that as well it's just amazing it's just, and it costs one dirham one dirham is less than a dollar to me that's brilliant that's really really um amazing again would i be filming this video if i don't talk about desert safari of course dubai um is found in the uae which is like a desert it's in the middle east so we are we, i would say it's like a desert more of a desert um location i would say that so when when you, when you find yourself somewhere just do the most out of it you know and what these people have done really really well is the desert safari you get to go to the desert you see the camels i've not been there yet i've never seen no i've seen a camel i have seen a camel in dubai sheikh zaid were in the middle of you know a, a, a really nice infrastructure they brought a camel uh, over there so i've seen a camel but you know i've never been on one and again at the end of every desert safari you get to eat you, there's the belly dancing it's such a beautiful experience of course there's the dinner in the sky that doesn't come cheap but where in the world will you find dinner in the sky guys like where i think that's really really nice a year of flying taxis hmm i have not seen it yet truth be told i don't know how it works but when I do find out, I would absolutely love, love, love to try that as well. 
Another point I would say I absolutely love about this city, if you guys remember in the video I, I mentioned things I hated about Dubai, I mentioned housing was expensive, education was expensive, I mentioned all the things that were expensive. What I didn't tell you guys was food is exceptionally cheap. I'm talking about grocery shopping. Honestly, you would think living in Dubai, maybe the cost of, um, you know, your grocery shopping per month would be honestly really expensive no if you know the right places to go to after when i just moved here i didn't know there was there was a thing called fish market and um yeah fish market you get to buy you know like really fresh fish live chicken at really really good prices honestly the vegetables are quite cheap here you get a, uh, you get vegetables for one dram or so food is not a problem over here which is surprising right you think we are in the desert you think sometimes we may be starving no there is abundance honestly there is abundance of food if you do your own grocery shopping if you cook at home of course if you're going to you know leave the the high life i want to eat in the restaurant and stuff like that it's going to be a lot more expensive because of course you're getting the experience if you are a master chef in your house trust me you're going to be um, you're going to have an average budget when it comes to food the last thing i love about dubai is the fact that you have all these amazing apps i'll just put, i think you have about eight to ten apps where you can just sit in your house and order food yes um dubai, there are so many things to do in this place there are so many restaurants there are so many you know fast food outlets and stuff but sometimes you just don't want to go out summer is coming it gets really really hot you may not want to go out you just go on your phone there's zomato zomato just comes to my head just like that the, the, some of the apps i'm talking about you've got so many but let me just list a few to you guys you've got a uh, delivery delivery ae you've got uh, uber eats food on click eats Eat Easy UAE, Talabat UAE, Quality Food UAE, Round Menu, Essentially UAE. You've got a lot. You can just sit in your house at the comfort of your home, on your bed, as a matter of fact, and you just order your food online. To me, that's something personally I really, really love. So yeah, those are the things um, I would say that just blow my mind away when it comes to Dubai. There are certain nationalities I didn't know existed in the world. I got to meet the people here. I would think, or I would love to say, the only other country that maybe would have more nationalities than Dubai, maybe it would be the States. Trust me, you would see everybody, you look every nationality in this world in this place. Like, trust me, guys. So that's it. If you have not subscribed, I would very much love for you um, to, you know, click that button. It just brings a huge, huge smile um, on my face when I know that you love my content because that's how you let me know that you love my content you know and always feel free to you know drop whatever remarks drop video ideas i'm open to your ideas as well and uh the last thing i'll say is thank you thank you for you know always watching my videos thank you for dropping comments especially even when there are constructive criticisms i am here for it i am here for your criticisms okay it's all about growing this channel it's all about relating to you guys thank you guys see you in the next video bye